Hello friends, welcome to a new stream. Um, today we're going to be climbing the ladder on my uh, second account. We're pretty low. I think uh, getting into the top f uh, seven is a very reasonable goal for today. That's 200 MMR gained and I think we can do it. I, I have a good feeling about all of this, okay? Definitely. Mm. I start by playing some uh, uh, a couple of warm-up games. I think with Zerg, maybe with Terran. Let's play again with Terran. Just for the yeah, getting a little bit in the feeling. Yo, how's it going? I'm doing all right, buddy. How are you doing? I'm feeling good personally. Uh, if you are too feeling good, put your hands in the air and say, come on, come on. Are we going to see some Mothership today? I don't know if we're going to see some Mothership today. I I'd reckon we might see some Mothership today, but... I, I'm not entirely sure. Like, maybe? You're gone. Of course, you start with a TVT. Let's just start with a proxy Rex on it. I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Oh, that's not entirely great. <sighs> How are you all doing, my friends? How are you all doing? I haven't streamed in a little bit here. A week, to be exact. <laughs> Very long time. But I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to stream a little bit longer than usual as well. I'm thinking a couple of hours. More than two. Maybe even three. I was considering four. Five is on the table. And six within the realm of possibilities. But most likely four. I'll keep going until I get hungry. Which um, usually doesn't take too long. I'm a, I'm a man that gets hungry quickly. And is also satisfied when it comes to eating very quickly. So, you know, it's a it's two-sided there. Definitely two-sided. Oh, I can get this refinery ASAP. <laughs> not so sure if this is going to be in time. Sending this over to build my second barracks. I freaking hate TVTs, so I've decided um, that rather than pretending like I like it, I'm just going to actually do what I want to, which is proxy every single game. Hope that I win with my proxy 2 racks, and that's pretty much it. I also have a 3 rack. Oh, wait. What? Yeah, come on. Really? Yeah, there's no point. Oh, but he... He scouted around for a barracks. At what timing? What is this? This is not okay. What? Ah! <laughs> I don't know about this one. Guys, I... No? This is a little bit odd. This is not a timing. This, this doesn't happen. Oh no. Like, this is really odd. Ah, but he does only respond to... Oh my god. I hate when this happens, when it's so suspicious. I want to go to the first person here of this guy for a little bit. This feels suspicious, alright? I don't. I don't like it. I don't like when things feel suspicious. Okay. Is this is this a natural move? Was he planning on... What, what is he sending out? Is it a depot worker? Which one does he send out? Does he just grab a random one? He sends a random one out? Two seconds after I build my proxy racks. He clicks it on the minimap, doesn't he? <sighs> like... If you're gonna scout for proxies, then surely this also is an air and did ah yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, well this scout timing is pretty sussy. That's that's a little bit sussy, isn't it? It is a little bit sussy. You just send me a message as well. Let's have a look at the matches. You, you can often find something out by the race report. 61% TVT, so that would usually people that have uh, enhanced information <laughs> do that. But it's it's so hard to say because I need to see his standard game in order to call it, right? If he always scouts at this timing, then he might have just gotten lucky. That's completely viable. So here he played against a 12 pool, opened up with reactor first, which doesn't seem like a great call, but maybe it is. I don't know if there's actually a hard counter or not. Then here my man lost in a TVT. Zhub, yes, yes, uh, Reaper, Reaper Hellion. So, 
Nah, I, I don't think. I don't think it's the case, honestly. I think he just got lucky once. You need new builds, Harstam? You can get them only from me? I don't think that's how it works. And also, someone who practices them daily is not using me. Nice dude, all right. I'll, I'll trust you on that. It, it just felt suspicious. You know, this happens. I don't know. I hate it when things are suspicious. But like I said, I need more information. The rest of his match history didn't look very suspicious. So we'll call him... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll never call him a map hacker. You need way more definitive proof. Just, it was a little bit suspicious, we have to admit it. You know, we need to be able to say it, but I don't think he's a map hacker. At least not on this little evidence. You should know he's... And also, it's kind of known that I proxy two Rex a lot as well in this matchup. So maybe he was like a... Playing against the cowboy here. Let's see what I guess. I hate getting TVTs. This is the only reason why I prefer playing Zerg, is because I can't get TVTs. TVT is such a stupid matchup. The guy that invented TVTs, I'm not saying that anything should happen with him, but I feel like as a society we should punish these people. Okay? We, we actually should. I, I think it's important that this type of behavior, when it, you know, TVT gets constructed. There have to be other people in that room that stand up and say, this is not okay. This is behavior that I do not approve of. It's like some type of social control. I don't think we need to have laws around it, like against TVT. I'm just saying that there needs to be a, a social cost related to inventing a matchup or uh, expressing a liking to the matchup, um, a reputational cost that is so large that no one would want to invent a matchup as TVT or enjoy watching it. I, I, I think there should, yeah, just social punishment should be so high, repu reputational damage so large that uh, I think these people should be automatically canceled. Just if you like TVT, you're a bad person. And I don't think that is a, a difficult to defend take. That is a, a take that I stand behind 100%. It's one of these things where you look at it and you think to yourself, yes. That is fine. I'm okay with it. People that enjoy the Terran versus Terran matchup, I also think they should immediately be uh, evaluated by by, by a, a psychologist. Like, this is a clear... It's like how you have, like, serial killers that... the like, people that abuse animals when they're young have, like, a higher chance of becoming a serial killer. You know, or the kids that wet their beds or something like that. Um... I think it's the same with people that enjoy TVT. That should be a, an extreme red flag. Like, you look at it, it's like, oh, this guy likes TVT, wet as bad as a kid. It's like a 75% chance he's going to become a serial killer. That is an issue, okay? That is definitely an issue. Okay, well, we both did the same dumb thing. So that means we're both idiots. I like that. I do like it when there's, there's two idiots uh, in the same game. Oh, you think you can get him? No way, right? Where did he go? He disappeared! Freaking uh, Hans Clock over here. What is this? I think he has a car. Surely he has a car. He's probably going to join up with the car over here. So I'm going to cut him off. Oh, he joined up already. He joined up already. That was a mistake. I didn't think he would have joined up already. But I guess my car also was fairly far forward at that point. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was that was close. That's too close to for comfort even i'm gonna just chill on top of this ramp <coughs> no no i want a refinery you think he's gonna pop up this ramp or no my man a bob it's an interesting name as well there used to be a starcraft player called a bomb um very nice guy i don't quite recall where he was from ireland he was from ireland from. I immediately recalled it after I said I didn't recall where he was from. Thus proving me to be a massive liar. Oh, maybe I can clear this? I think that's dead. Oh my god, my micro is so much superior. So superior. Come on, Raven. 150 gas, by the way, this unit. Um, that is really not normal behavior. 150 gas for a unit with that much value. If the Raven... Okay. Hot take. 
if the Raven was a Protoss unit, it would cost 200 gas. And it'd be 7 supply. Right now it's 2 supply. Okay, no, it would be 4 supply as a Protoss unit. Like, legitimately. I even believe... Like, Terrans have this, this, this type of mental gymnastics that only they can do as well. Where they always believe that something that they have is worse than what something else has. So, if we would make a, an exact copy of the Raven and put it in Protoss, they would argue that with Protoss, it is more valuable and thus should be 200 gas. Because Protoss can get more money. And it also should be 3 or 4 supply. But then while they still have it, it should be less money. Th this would be one of their arguments. And the worst thing is, some guy on the Battle.net forums and some guy on Reddit would read and be like, eh, it's a pretty reasonable take. I can get behind that. Terrans are a little bit harder and they have been winning a whole lot. Like, Terrans... Uh, how can uh, a people that has such low uh, collective IQ be so good at winning balance arguments? I don't understand. You tell me. You tell me, my friend. Okay, we have three uh, Ravens, and I'm going to make a move with them as well. It's always good to make moves with Ravens. And I am particularly fond of making moves with Ravens. I'm supply block like a moron. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is supply block. Oh no, actually, I'm, su I'm unsupply blocked. Undone it. You think I can move out of here? No shot. Yes shot, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, look we'll at what we're going to do right now. This is actually a high tier move as well. This is what Maru... I saw Maru do this in a GSL, and I immediately realized this was going to be my future. The future of my TVT. So, I, basically what you do is, is you check when your opponent is moving out, and the moment he moves out... You're going in with your ravens and you're killing like 35 workers, okay? With your 17 different, uh, what do you call them? Your, your auto turrets. Because you can't, you can't these days, man. You have so many auto turrets. Oh, look, look, he's moving out, moving out. It's like, oh, I want to move out. Oh, that seems like a good plan here for me, my friends. I'm going to kill this tasty lope. Very tasty indeed. Oh, yeah. Is he actually planning on moving out? Or what is this? Is this a... Is this a is this a trick that he's playing? I think I can just kill him, actually. Holy, why does he have no units? Never mind. I, I thought I was gonna... Uh, I was I was gonna do a run by here. I'm just gonna kill his... His entire army here. Am I not? Come on, that tank needs to not be in the fight yet. It's very, very, very important for me that a tank is not in the fight. Look how many I have. Look how many auto turrets I have. I have more. I have more. There's more where that came from, son. There indeed was more. Shoop. Die. I think we won the game just now. God, I'm so good. GG. Well, no GG, but GG. <laughs> that brings the score to 1-1. One, one. Should we have a score counter per stream, maybe? Would that be something that all of you would be interested in? Stream score. You could also have this done automatically, by the way. But that sounds like a lot of uh, a lot of trouble. One one. Look at this. Zoop. Where do we put it? Where would we put it? Let me see. We'll, we'll open up a replay. Let me figure out a good location for it together. Is a this is a, a a project in which we in which we work together. Ancient cistern. Okay. We watched this replay. 1337 it ended. Also known as lead. Um, right there, middle of the screen. I think we're going to put it on the middle of the screen, Chief. Put it right over your face. Right above Rebellion. Okay, look at this. This is where we have it. On the bottom? Does this work? Then we want a little bit of stroke on it, maybe. Can we do that? Stroke, 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 stroke. Outline. Outline size 2, outline size 3, outline size 5, outline size 7. But the outline color is white. <laughs> That's idiotic. Okay, outline color 15. Can we see this? It does look quite ugly, but it is it is visible, isn't it, my friends? Okay, do we like it down here? I think I like it down here. Probably also want to outline around this Shopify thing. Oh, well, that's life. Yeah, good. 
When's the best player in the world coming on, Harstem? Yes, keep asking that question. This is good. It's okay. Top left? Uh, top left is a terrible position. Is it? Maybe it's okay, actually. I don't know. Look at my replay files. Look at this. Bro, I have so many. This is all from the last month as well. Look at this. Internet. So many games that I played. Look at this. This is all yesterday. God, such a machine. It's crazy. Um, who messaged me? Real Sultan? Dot? Oh, he sent me the dot. Not interested in that. Um, I'm calling one more game with Terra and then we go into Protoss, okay? But we count everything together. Kato predictions? We can make some Kato Beach predictions. Remove it, but see that loud every 40 seconds. 1-1. One, one. I am currently 1-1. One, one. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at I am Brex and it seems you might have to play versus Scarlet very soon. Literally impossible because I'm going to win every single game in the upper bracket. And thus I'll never have to meet Scarlet. Nice. No team kills this tournament, my friends. Visible but definitely ugly. Uh, that is the vibe I'm going for in general with my looks. So it fits the team. <laughs> so I'm very tall but TV, TV, T. Oh, he's, also, he's, also, he's also upset about this. Um, I am also upset. Let's funnel our rage and aim it at something else. Uh, no, not really. I, I, I it, that's the type of thing I'm just not a huge fan of. The If I wanted to play rock, paper, scissors. Like, if there was an option to do that in-game, I would probably do it, but I'm not a fan of uh, of deciding matches on that. I, I think it's considered throwing as well. I It's one of these things where if there's a Blizzard employee watching this accidentally, and it's like, hey, that's against the TOS. He bans my account, and he kicks me out of Intellect Stream Masters Katowice. That would be a very sad moment for me personally. So I'm not going to risk it. Although if other people do it, I don't have anything against it necessarily. I'm also not a huge fan of it though. It's not like I uh, encourage this behavior. I discourage this behavior in public, but in private I don't care about it. And it really only matters what you do in public. That's where your character gets decided. Um, can I afford everything here? I don't think I can. Can I? Zoop. One more of these. Am I, I'm, that's a hell of a sentence. Um, I can't afford an orbital command. That's Not kind of frustrating, isn't it? Zip. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. <laughs> Why is this working? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he look at it? I was like, yeah, probably probably nothing weird going on. There is SEVs trying to chase me away. It seems like a it seems like a normal thing. Alright. <laughs> it worked. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Um <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure I'm not being proxy racked or something. Actually being proxy racked would be fantastic for me. Fabulous, you could even say. Oh here he is. You think I can get it? I think I can. Poof! <laughs> One more. We're gonna go up to five and then we move in. What do you think he's thinking right now? What do you think he is thinking? If you can figure this out, that would be very high tier. And he's gonna figure out right now what I'm doing anyway, so I don't care about being spotted in a way. We have a lot of Reapers, don't we? A lot of Reapers. Oh, yeah. We've got six left. We killed one. We lost two. 
but we also killed a crap ton of workers like legitimately a crap ton so overall this has been an interaction which if i were to you know make a Ooh, wait he has a high ground cc yikers um if i were to judge this interaction i'd say positive for me negative for my opponent i think i'm getting too many marines as well we're following this up with a three racks and the plan here is fairly simple so <laughs> we're gonna move across the map with marines we're gonna keep these reapers alive and then as our marines hit the natural i jump in the main base with six reapers i kill every single worker then i hope i can defend his counter attack that is literally my plan my entire plan for this game if that doesn't work we're going to start doom dropping tanks and i hope we win that way but I honestly don't have very high hopes for for any of this. I'm going to keep my marines downstairs in case he attacks me. Then I can go from behind with my uh, uh, with, with my reapers. That is my that is my defensive my defensive setup here. Okay. If you have any issues with my plan, be sure to leave them in the chat. I read all of your suggestions, um, just not right now. But I'll definitely read them at another time. This effect. <coughs> ba -da -da -da. Look at this. This looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay. Should I maybe wait for Metavax? Almost feels like it's good for me to wait for Metavax now. Yeah, okay. My plan has been altered significantly as well. Okay, new plan. New plan. Research complete. New plan. Okay, listen to the new plan. This new plan is, is better than the old plan. We're gonna move across the map with Marines and Reapers. And as we do that, we drop two Medivax in the main base. He moves all of his units into the main and we go in the natural with a massive force of units as well. We'll have combat shields, we'll have plus one. It's gonna be marvelous splendid as the kids would say well actually no the kids would say lit a little litty Zip. not sure if i'm gonna actually have combat in time though don't enjoy that very much you think we can clear this or what no way he goes does he jump up if he jumps up okay does does an actually insane move unironically All right, mate. Ready to go. Ready. Ready. This didn't feel so nice for me. Am I ready for this? Yes, I'm super ready for this. Wait, he's playing Mac? Or what is this garb? Probably should have done that slightly different as well. Okay, we have a third base on the way. This guy's still working. Gonna get two two upgrades. We're just gonna continuously doom drop right now. That's our new plan. It's not a great plan, but it's gonna be a plan that hopefully works. Which is the most important thing in a plan is that there's a small chance that something works. I think we're really far ahead as well. So even if it's not really supposed to work, it might just work because we're ahead. Come on, fly over faster, mate. I think we have enough here to load everything in. Oh, I think we do. Okay, we drop a couple of mules up here. We have three tanks. We have a crap ton of units. Yeah, you guys can stay home. I don't care about you. You don't get to be part of the party here. The party has left. It's like when you go with a group of friends to the party bus and they drive away without you. And then as they drive away, they think to themselves, haven't we forgotten something? Who is it? Good old Kevin, once again, standing on the side, left behind. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable scenes, oh my god. I mean, I need these to unload at some point as well, for sure. Hello? 
Jup. Shoot him! I think we win the game now. Hey, we definitely win the game. GG, TVT win in the pocket. And that means that we're currently... Two to one. <laughs> this can't be my new announcer voice. I bet there's an announcer voice as well somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Positive score overall. And we'll head over to Protoss right now. Rank 12. Harsem, do you also stream on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, do you also stream? Yeah, so I stream on Twitch. Kevin, what's your plans to turn your wedding into a StarCraft-themed cringe fest? I'm not. I think I'm in the wrong stream. It says greatest StarCraft 2 player, but it's Harsem. Something weird. You're the first person to make this joke today. An original take. So the captain makes a lot of music references, but he has actually never said what music he truly enjoys. So... Um, I, uh, I'm a huge fan of the Polka. And specifically of Polka remixes. Um, of, of popular songs. So, yeah. Uh, just anything Polka related in general, it gets my heart beating faster. I'll give you 10 pounds if you mine an enemy mineral patch with a Mew and get the Mew back to your base at some point in the next few games. I'm going to be playing Protoss from now on, Octavio Del Ser. So you'll have to keep those 10 pounds. And donate them to a worthy cause instead. Maybe you can give them to the Society of uh, Idiotic Apes. These are apes that have uh, low IQ. And they're trained later in life to become Terran players. And they always require funding. Do you have the same saying in Dutch about the true meaning of ja ja in German? No, we don't. You're a Terran player? Very nice. Apes are the tosses 100% of the time. There's some debate about this. Why is ya ya ye ya ye? I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Kevin proxy Nexus recall for the lols. Ah, I'm good. Can you 1v1 me for a good laugh? And it wouldn't be very fun. Zoek je nog een beginnend videograaf? Ah, nee. Bedankt, uh, Bram. When is the Dutch learning stream? I, I don't enjoy speaking Dutch as much. Well, I enjoy speaking Dutch, but not on stream. Because most of my audience is English. So they'll be a little bit confused in that case. Which is not ideal. Generally, you want people to be as... Uh, who is this? Vano Strand? It'll add you. Your friend in invited request has failed. Try again later. Thanks for nothing, Blizzard. When's the cooking stream? I did a cooking stream before. What about speaking Portuguese? I don't speak any Portuguese, so also completely pointless to speak Portuguese with me. Which country makes the best English music? Um, not the Netherlands. That is for sure. Actually, it's not true. There's there's one song, one, there's a couple of Dutch English songs that I like. A couple of Dutch English songs. There's a, a, a Dutch band called Chef Special. And they have a song called Afraid of the Dark. I can't play it because then my YouTube channel is going to get a copyright strike. But Afraid of the Dark is a banger. I like that. What about Afrikaans? I, I, I haven't heard a lot of Afrikaans English music. I, I think probably England wins for me. The Beatles, for example, are English. I like the Beatles. The What's he called? George Harrison is, is also English. He was part of the Beatles. And I also like his music. I like the Arctic Monkeys. They're English, British, whatever you call them. Is there any other English musicians that I like? Adele is high tier. Eric Clapton is high tier. Hey, Freddie Mercury was British? No shot. And Eric Clapton, English. He was British. I also thought Freddie Mercury was an American for some reason. Wait, so what have the Americans performed in the... P Phil Collins is English? What is this? Amy Winehouse, Mick Jagger, Elton John?
Van Morrison? He's Northern Irish. He's not. He's not British. Why do they count him as British? Oh, I put English. Jeff Lynne? What have the Americans performed? Tell me that when it comes to music. Best music comes through UK than USA? Yeah, probably. Is there? I guess I like Bob Dylan. He's an American. He is. He is, he's, he, he he makes tunes. Bob Dylan, American singer-songwriter, eighty-one. Jeez, the guy's old. Frank Sinatra, Dire Straits. Ah, wait, are the Dire Straits? Are they American? No, they're also British. This is insane. It's all the Eagles. They're probably American, aren't they? I think I think British people have a have a leg up though. It's not entirely fair. Let's face it. The the way that British people sound is superior to Americans. No offense to the Americans, of course. I have the same with StarCraft 2 casters. I think if you're a British StarCraft 2 caster and you you're actually good, you have a massive leg up just because of your accent is bananas, you know? If you have a deep British voice, you're automatically a broadcasting talent. Like it, you don't even have to know anything about StarCraft. You're already in the top in the top one percent of talent. It's it's crazy. I love listening to British voices. It's it it just feels correct, you know. There's some American accents that I can't stand, but the, the British. Well, I'm sure there's some British accents I can't stand. You have to go, you know, these mad. I I love the sound of that. He's twelve pulling me or what? You little prick. What are we doing over here, Chief? Hey, what's this garbage? People have been playing weird builds against me lately. I don't enjoy it. Yesterday I lost the game. I don't even want to talk about it. We could watch the replay maybe later. It's some legitimately very low tier uh, decision making out of me. Which is the best tier. Low tier is best tier is what they always say. It's uh, Kevin DeConing 2021. 2023! It's not 2021 anymore. Jesus. Time flies by. It's like I'm paralyzed by it. Trying to be my old self again. Taylor Swift is an American. She's not bad either. Taylor Swift's not bad. Ed Sheeran? He sounds like he's British, isn't he? I think I think Ed Sheeran is British. Not a huge fan of Ed Sheeran's music, but I went to one of his concerts. Impressive performer. Although, yeah. No, he was an impressive performer. He's good. Did everything himself. Plays many instruments. At least two. Acoustic and electric guitar. And he's very fairly popular. Eminem, he's an American. I guess most good rappers are American. Yeah, 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 yeah. Americans, they, they decided that they can't win with anything else. So they just started rapping. I like that. Because the Brits were beating them when it came to the instruments. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 50 Cent's American as well, isn't it? What is he doing, my friend? What What is my friend actually doing here? I, I want to see if this is a, a a lair or not. I should have probably been home already. I stayed out past curfew. Do you guys smell that? <sighs> cheese, baby. That's cheese that you smell there. I almost want to get a void ray. Not just almost. I want to get a void ray. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if he tries to go for a little drop here, a zergling drop. Some of these build orders, you look at it, you think to yourself, "That sucks," but pff, could deal some damage if you're not in position. Could also be like a, a nidus. I'm just gonna get one battery in my natural. My scout is quite late, so I went for initial safety over scouting info. Void Ray over Oracle. Does he just have nothing here? This guy's a machine. Like, where are you, where, where are you at? Where, where, where? Maybe Hydras? What are you doing, Chief? Hey, 
getting a third? Yeah, he's getting a third. Well, past tense. He was getting a third. Until my Void Ray flew over and blasted him on another level. I think I want a, a Robo Bay here. Ooh, now you're out of position as well. Hope you have a, a spore. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a spore. Ah, very unfortunate, my friend. Oh, I, he continued attacking this as well. I mean, this game is fairly over right now. I have no clue what he's playing, though. I legitimately no clue. This is... Uh, this is a contender for the worst build order of 2023. Yeah, this definitely is. I mean, I, I just don't quite understand what is going on here. Um, but what I do know is that this build order is garbage. Do not enjoy this at all. I can clear this, maybe. Okay, he is going for it. I mean, really? Is, is this the, the grand plan? Is this really the grand plan? Because if this is the grand plan, he's in some trouble. Oh, I'm a unit. actually in a great position here am i if this is the grand plan maybe i'm in trouble wait am i actually in trouble never mind i'm not sure why i was so worried protos can't die we're invincible we're the terran of this matchup you know I probably should have gotten a uh, a unit that actually would have helped here, rather than a Disruptor. I thought Disruptors would be good, but Colossus would have been high tier. Because he literally has nothing that counters the Disruptor. I also should have played a little bit safer, but oh well. Playing safe is for losers. Up, 8 gas. Boom. Fourth base on the way soon as well. Actually, he's getting some workers, huh? I mean, this game is fairly over. Let's let's face it through there. The, the thing that, that threw me off was the... What am I doing? Was the the bailing nest that he had in the natural? That didn't make any sense to me. He's getting a fort base as well. This is one hell of a build order. Is all I'm gonna say for now. I want another colossus before I start doing other things. I'm actually just gonna move across the map. I I, I don't care anymore. Mm. Twilight Council as well. We get like three more, three four more zealots. We're gonna move across the map. If he doesn't have bailings, he's dead. If he does have bailings, we just move back home. And force him to invest into more bane links. Chip. What? He's getting a lot of drones, isn't he, mate? Aren't you? I hit nothing. Which is definitely not what you want to be hitting. Hey, we're still winning, though, aren't we? How does he have so many works? I'm going to watch his replay because this is a, a fairly stunning display of a weird build order that ended up feeling somewhat okay for him, honestly. Yep, two down the drain. This guy definitely doesn't want to be involved in this, uh, in this entire episode. Hold up. Surely that's not the way. We have plus one now. And on top of that, we have something that's even more impressive. We have Thermal Lance. Thermal Lens is the, is the Hydra range of the Protoss. It makes the unit a lot better. Just a lot better. Look at this. Bzoop. Bzoop. La da 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 da. 
You want Templar Archive? Probably, right? Weird build, though. I was gonna try and snipe this. Understandable move. Probably somewhat of a correct move as well. They're still uber winning. I guess he has 89 supply right now. 935. I said 89 supply. Maybe slightly more? No, 89 was about fine. 935. 89 supply. We'll see if I'm correct. How close to correct I'm being. Does he have any upgrades? He has plus one as well. Honestly, he's playing this better than I thought he would. GG. Let's say 35. Oh, he has 117. Oh, no, but then he loses some. 89. Well, I was 10 off. You can always be 10 off. That's not the end of the world. I can live with that. That's a number I'm okay with. That brings the score. Not the 2-1. But the 3-1. In my favor. <clears throat> Harstam, your biggest South African fan is back. No, not stupid Luke. It's me, Bjorn. <laughs> Glad to hear you versus Rainer Mutt wrestle? No? Captain, I was wondering if you ever feel bad for Rainer with you being b <laughs> better looking and more skilled. I think both of these uh, both of these things are going to be debated heavily by many people. <laughs> Maybe you should stream for I am Katowice and you will win it. Probably not. What's your outlook for Katowice? Chance to make it to the uh, main round? Possible. Possible. Definitely possible. If you were to choose your nickname now, what would it be? Harstem. Do you want me to do a, a quick a quick glance over uh, over the I am Katowice groups? If you want me to do that, say I in the chat. Not the letter I, but A Y E I. And I can go over it real fast. They're not gonna make much of a much trouble though. Okay. Not going to be going through too much trouble. Ay, 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 okay, 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 gotcha, 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 we're gonna do it, calm down, we've got it figured out. <sighs> Round of 36, all right. Full screen as well, no accidents can happen. <sighs> this is the Round of 36 bracket. This is my name, I am Harstem. It's the only Protoss versus Protoss mirror. I feel confident in my Protoss versus Protoss. I have a a set of beliefs that I uh, that that I that I completely you know I, I feel confident in in that they are the correct way to play. My execution is sometimes lacking, but I believe that I'm slightly favored against Nice. I think Cure is heavily favored against Armani. I want to say seventy five twenty five. Maybe even more 80-20, maybe. <clears throat> so if I win against Nice, I'll be playing Cure. I enjoy playing PvT as well, and I think I'm okay at it. But I think Cure is better than me. So if that were to happen, I think Cure is favored versus me. If, however, I were to beat Cure, most likely I would have to fight either Zaun or Spirit in the qualifying match. Why am I not saying Haas? I'm not saying it's impossible for Haas to beat Spirit. But I don't think Haas will beat Zaun. And I think that Spirit has a chance against Zaun. So if Spirit beats Haas, I think Spirit has like a 40% chance against Zaun. If Haas beats Spirit, I think Haas has like a 15 or 10% chance against Zaun. I think my chance against Zaun, I put it at 30%. I feel relatively comfortable with my PvP. I think it's currently probably my best matchup. <coughs> um... Yeah, it, it, especially in tournament situations. I think I'm, I'm good at it. I understand how it works. Scarlet Classic, I think. Uh, Classic actually looked pretty good, but not, not so great against Zerg. He looked good against Terran and against Protoss. Weak against Zerg. So um, I think as an overall player, I probably rate Classic maybe like a little bit higher. But in the Zerg versus Protoss matchup, I think Scarlet is better. Classic also seems fairly easy to prepare for. Majority of the time, his build orders are fairly bland. Um, I say Scarlet has that. Nightmare Chum, I think Nightmare has that. They played in Home Story Cup. Nightmare won 2-0. Sue versus Ryong. I think Sue will win, but Ryong surprised everyone last year. 
by... Oh, I threw over my bottle of water. My bad. Um, <laughs> Ryang surprised everyone by getting to, what was it? The round of 12 last year. Um, and then losing to Rogue 3-1 to one there. So it's possible. Elaser Tebow. I think Tebow has very little chances against Elaser. Tebow is... Uh, Far and away, I think, the weakest player in this bracket. He comes in as a replacement for Mio Maika, who was firmly on top of the standings. Look at that. 790 points against 191. Won both of the uh, the, the things, the, the regionals, and performed relatively okay in the globals as well. Qualified for TSL 9 on top of that. So sad that Mio Maika isn't here. That is an, an actual... Yeah, an actual feels bad, man. Then afterwards, I think... I don't know how much Elaser has been practicing um, and how good he is of a shape, but the, the maps are insanely good for Zerg. So I'm expecting a Zerg versus Zerg here, honestly. I'm expecting a Zerg versus Protoss here. Nightmare versus Scarlet. I simply am not super aware of, of, of that matchup. I think it's about 50 50. <coughs> So, but once again, then the, ma the maps come into play. I think two Zergs are going to qualify from the top bracket. If I if I if I'm to make my my, my decision. Wait, wait. You can only have one, right? Qualifying matches here. But yeah, it's going to be a ZVZ up here. So there's going to be a Zerg. One hundred, like ninety percent sure that this is going to be a Zerg. I'd be very surprised if it's anything else. On the bottom side, I think there's like a two percent chance that a Zerg makes it here. I don't think Armani can beat Cure. I don't think Armani can beat me. And I don't think Armani can beat Zaun or Spirit. I don't think Armani can beat Nice either. I say, so yeah, yeah Armani is just not winning it. I think the top four players overall are Elaser, Classic, Cure, and Zaun. I think these are the four best players in this bracket. But due to Classic's weak Zerg versus Protoss, something might be possible. Uh, I, I think, I, yeah, I think my bracket is harder than the top one as well. Uh, although I say that there's four Zerg players. I think I'd rather play Protoss and Terran players right now. Feel a lot more comfortable on the new map pool against them. So that is my takes on this uh, thing. Yeah, those, are, those are my takes and that's what you'll have to leave with. Leave with. That's what you'll have to live with. <coughs> Ten bucks he's going to lose to Armani. The thing is... If I bet with you that if I lose, you'll remind me that uh, I owe you 10 bucks. But if you lose, you're an anonymous guy in my YouTube chat. So this is a bet where I'm putting up 10 bucks and you're putting up nothing. Check Twitter DM. Now, also, I'm also not allowed to bet, so I'm not going to bet. Even if I were alive, even if, if, if it were a fair bet. I'm not allowed to bet on uh, uh, StarCraft games. It's against uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The rules in the ESL thing. Uh, hey, Captain, how did Rainer react when the Finnish Berserker Serral said that flaming him is fair game? He laughed. He thought it was very funny, actually. <laughs> Thanks for the, the 200 knocks. What is that? Norwegian Kröne. 18 euros. Much appreciated, man. Really nice. When does tournament for qualifications begin? You didn't check if you if you really had 89 supply? No, I checked. I checked. He didn't have it. He had 97 or so, or 101. You're looking very handsome today. Thank you. My bracket is harder too harsh. All the other D3 players are far better than me for some reason. That's what happens. Ninety nine. Okay, die. Thank you. Okay, we've got game, my friends. We've got game. I've been watching Steadfast Commentary Arsenal. He's become my new fave caster. Um, I, I don't watch a lot of... Uh, I prefer watching replays over uh, live, live games most of the time. It's, uh, it's the curse of being a professional StarCraft player. 
is that enjoying a game of StarCraft 2 has become harder as it's always, uh, you know, you're always thinking of stuff, you know, they're analyzing and sitting back, uh, kicking back, enjoying a game of StarCraft 2 with a cold one. It just, uh, you know, I need to be in a different environment for that. I, it, it's difficult for me to do that at my PC. If I go downstairs and watch it on the TV, I can do that. But I have a, I, I just don't do that very much. It's, it's true. It's a curse. A curse and a... No, it's just a curse. I also uh, consume relatively StarCraft 2 YouTube content. Uh, very rarely do I watch videos. Well, when I was younger, like the, the reason that I got into StarCraft 2 was Husky StarCraft. Me and my brother would, would watch almost all of his videos together. He had a great time watching them. We were huge Husky fans. Huge. Massive Husky uh, simps. That's what we were. The biggest fans. Of course, you know what happened to Husky. He's uh, no longer with the StarCraft scene. I was going to say he's no longer with us, but that sounds like he, he's gone forever. But he's still alive. He just... Uh, I think he's a producer of his... Uh, of his girlfriend's uh, baking channel. Which uh, does, does extremely well. Like a, you know, like a TV show and... I don't know, baking. baking uh, like a nerdy bakes or something. Nerd Baker is what she's called. Um, so he's uh, found a different passion in life. <coughs> Which made me sad. I thought he was a, one hell of a commentator. That guy was legitimately very funny. His energy was funny already. God. Reminiscing of the olden days. There was another guy called HD as well. Who also was a fairly decent caster. I listened to him too. HD and Husky. They were the guys. The guys to look at. Yeah. HD and Husky. <laughs> Every now and again I'll uh, I'll think about them again. You know? It's, it's funny. It's so long ago now. It's like 13 years or so. Still feels fresh in my mind though. First days of StarCraft 2, 2010. Lair. I mean, this is this is suicide for him, I think. I don't actually think this build is viable. But we'll have to wait and see if it is or if it isn't. Does he have any amount of drones here? Yeah, he does. That was, I wanted to cancel that. I, I swear I clicked cancel as well. It just didn't go through. Happens, of course. Um, but yeah, just uh, a mistake there in the game. Double gas. It's just... These builds are... I, I don't really rate them very high. These, uh, these types of builds. I can lose to it. Like, don't get me wrong. I can definitely lose to it. I just I just don't rate them. It's the, it's the fact of ma matter of fact. Fact of the matter. Definitely could have killed that if I had a, a Void Ray first this time around. I don't think I actually should be doing what I'm doing. This is third base is a little bit ridiculous even, I think. Missed that one. Three kills. Fairly impactful in this setup, I think. See if he has a third base going up. Or if he, or if he doesn't, of course. Um... Now we get to make a decision between glaives and and stalkers, blink stalkers, depending on what we scout. So that's what we're gonna do as well. Oh. Playing it a little bit tricky, huh? Quit playing. Okay. We could do both right now. We could go for glaives, but we could also not go for blink stalkers. The thing with Glaives is that if he gets Banelings and he doesn't attack for very long, we might actually be in trouble. But at the same time, what's the chance he doesn't attack for very long? I think it's a small chance as well. Very, fairly small chance, yeah. So I'm just gonna go up to four gates, we'll get a one of these bad boys. We'll see if we can deal some damage here. No? 
Did I lose that? I did lose that. Just hope you can throw out of me. Is anything being constructed? I didn't see what popped just now. I'm just barely out of range when it comes to that. Okay, it's Hydras. It's probably planning on moving out, or it's already moving out. Yeah. Just gonna get more of these, more and more of these. And I probably want to hide them a little bit as well, so that the links don't quite see me. Oh, what in the world is this? Does I didn't see him move in like that, honestly. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is probably why his build isn't that good. I could have killed him if I had moved properly, but I didn't. And thus now, uh, probably gonna be stuck playing against him for a little bit longer. Oh, he's going in? No shot. Still wish we straight up win the game, no? Quit playing games with my heart. Playing games with my heart, my heart. Da, 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 da. It's my heart. Quit playing games with my heart. Yes. Probably thought I was actually gonna finish that, huh? Do we not have any uh, banes left? For sure, I thought there was gonna be some. Oh, yeah, there's one. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. I'm just gonna build them a couple more. Yeah, these builds are all what? They're all fun in games until the adept show up. <laughs> so despite them maybe being okay against certain things, they really do suck against the majority of the crap that is out there. Yeah, you can just continue moving around, but it's not gonna work. How much is obvious to me? Look at these splits. What? Try hitting more than one. Not possible. So by the time he gets his uh, his Muras across the map, I'm gonna be on four bases. GG. This is not a good build order. Ajnazg. I wonder what that means. Sounds like a foreign language to me. It does sound like a foreign language. That brings the total score up to 4 1. Woohoo! Thank you, Biba Norbert, for the. What in the world is this? A hundred try. What is try? Oh, the Turkish Lira. Thank you for the 100 Turkish Lira. Uh, Biba, I appreciate it, buddy. Congrats, Harstam, on becoming the greatest StarCraft 2 player in the world. Or, oh, he's newly had it in him. Me too, Sean. Me too, Sean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand where this guy comes from. I, I play like him. That's what you do when you're not confident against someone or in a matchup. Yes, facts. Let's get some cheese games and some good old donkey lass. What is better against Ling Hydra? Glaive Adept or Blink Stalkers? Glaive Adept is very good. The, the the thing is, it's not a very uh, reasonable solution for the longer term. So the, the problem with, with, with Glaive Adept... Um, the problem with Glaive Adept is that they die against Baneling. So the moment a significant Baneling force is out, all the resources invested into the Adept are basically useless. It's a unit that has a massive timer on its head and uh, that is a massive gassing as well. So Zealot is similar in a way where it dies against Banelings, but Zealots are really good unattended at harassment. And on top of that, they don't cost any gas. And gas is often a very limiting resource for Protoss and thus delaying your tech in order to get a lot of adepts out often ends up very poorly if you're playing against Hydras. Um, oh, wow. Zero nine Diga says, hey, Kevin, you entertained me for years during my medical school. You are a powerful man <laughs> with an influence that you might not be aware of. Eat potato chips tonight. <laughs> powerful influence. I'm now a doctor and you supported me on my way, so I want to support you a little bit now. Thank you for everything. I'm very uh, happy to hear that I entertained you for years and I'm proud of you for becoming a doctor. I'm a huge fan of doctors. I'm not a huge fan of visiting them. Often means something is wrong. But my specifically my my last two doctors that I've had, I know that's not true. My last doctor I wasn't a huge fan of. The one that I had, no wait, the one I in Rotterdam I wasn't a fan of. I never went to the doctor when I was in uh, The Hague. The one I have now is good. 
And the one that I had in my old hometown in Vlaardingen was fantastic as well. Legitimately very high tier doctor. This guy was sick. So I hope you're also a high tier doctor. And if I ever have any issues, I'll send you a direct message. I'm a huge fan of not dying. Therefore, I'm a huge fan of doctors. It's only sensible. Fact. Who's your favorite for Katowice? My favorite for Katowice is... Uh, I think Cero is good. I think there's four favorites. You have Cero, you have Maru, you have Rainer, and you have Dark. I think these are the four players that are most likely to win. And I think just... Uh, maybe I would even put Hero on the same level there. Um, and I think Cero, Cero, Rainer. I, the thing is, in my mind, Maru is the greatest. At, like when I watch him play, I find it difficult for me to see him lose. But then sometimes he just loses like a moron, and he doesn't seem to perform at these in big international tournaments often. So, I don't know. It's very difficult for me to say who's gonna win. I don't know who my uber favorite is. I, my heart, I hope that I win. But I don't even think I'm a dark horse. I'm not even quite sure how you were to describe my my chances of winning here. Not sure if there's a word for this, but it is fairly unlikely. Like there, is some magical things need to happen. I'm talking about like people getting knocked out by like pieces of the stage falling over. One of my opponents breaking his wrist just before our game. Like this type of stuff, you know? Like a lot of unlikely events need to happen in, qu in rapid succession in order for me to make it out of groups or to get into the groups even. Yeah, I'm the, no, the donkeys are relatively good at what they do. So I would not call myself a dark donkey. Yeah, of course, the dark horse is the usual term, which is people that, you know, you, you don't expect to win but could have potentially have a chance. Then the dark donkey is the people that usually get stuck in like the the group stage, but they accidentally win you know, with a little bit of luck. I am more like a dark pigeon, I guess. No one really likes him. Uh, they don't think he's ever going to win anything or contribute to anything in life. It is possible that I can't even properly fly anymore because I ate too many potato chips. And I poop everywhere, where it's not allowed. I think I'm the dark pigeon. But pigeons have surprised humans before. I think. I'm not sure. Are pigeons secretly smart? I hope I never have to justify my Google history. Are pigeons intelligent? Pigeons are considered to be one of the most intelligent birds on the planet and able to undertake tasks previously thought to be the sole preserve of humans and primates. They are one of only a small number of species to pass the mirror test, a test of self-recognition. They can else also recognize each letter of the human alphabet, differentiate between photographs, and even distinguish different humans within a photograph. That's kind of mad. Are you familiar with the story of Stephen Bradbury's Olympic gold medals in ice skating? Would love to see Harstam score a Bradbury. I don't know who that is. Australian former short track speed skater and four-time Olympian. He won the, the thousand meter event at the 2002 Winter Olympics after all of his opponents were involved in a last corner pileup. Yes, that is something that I would need. You know, as, as Rainer and Cyril walk on stage to play their finals, both of them slip and they they can't play anymore. And in order to not make the finals go absolutely, you know, terrible because there's nothing, they get the player that is closest nearby in proximity. And that happens to be me. And then, you know, we start playing and in game, in game four, as I'm down 0-3, my opponent... Uh, he's like his left arm just stops working and needs to play with just his right for the entirety of the match. Wait, what's my opponent's right? It's Kugar. Oh, that's unfortunate that I went for a wall then. It's not entirely what you want to do against Protoss. Yikers. I thought I was playing Zerg again. 
I wasn't really thinking, to be fair. Um, should we play a one gate expand? Watch us die trying to one gate expand here. That's an absolute classic. Dying. Uh, well, one gate expanding. On these maps, it's almost impossible to one gate expand. It's so impossible that even Max Packs has pretty much given up on one gate expanding. Which is uh, a sign on the wall for the one gate expander that life as he or she knew it is over. Ooh, that's too late to block my natural, though. Maybe I should go for a robo? Maybe I should actually go for a robo. I love robotics facilities. The robo is a powerful building because it produces units that are actually good. The only units that are good come out of the robotics facility. For protos. And I'm willing to fight all of you on that. The blink stalker is garbage. Uh, any, any gateway unit sucks. Uh, by default, basically. It's a garbage unit. It, Legitimately, all of them are garbage. Um, <clears throat> I wonder what he's going to do. I think he's going to try to proxy a third pylon here. And then make some type of weird popular play. I'm not I'm not okay with popular plays, you know that? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're rushing out our uh, robotics facility. Let me tell you this. What are you doing here? Unit, 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 unit. Give me a unit. Bam, 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 bam. I already know where he is, so I don't actually have to go look for it. Like, I, I know what his plans are. Up, oh, straight one of these. Then we get a stalker. Do I want to chrono this? I don't think I want to chrono the first one. He's chronoing this. Okay, it's 100% a four gate right now. Robo. <sighs> I don't know if this is... If this is good or bad or anything in between you know like what, what, what is what is going on here friends what is going on here maybe though i said maybe he has a yeah some of these guys in it Oh, where are they at? Zip. Please tell me. Oh! Absolutely orgasmic. Let's hope he doesn't manage to build another pylon here. That would be kind of sick. Definitely, there's going to be more... Um, more of those dudes already coming in. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these stalkers. They're definitely popping off already somewhere. Where's your immortal? I know, I know it's about to pop. I knew it. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say, where's your immortal? I know it's about to pop. I know what happened? Immortal popped. Don't want to call myself a genius, but that seemed pretty darn smart out of me. I can't believe he actually got that block up, though. That was really garbage out of me. Zip. He's dead now. <sighs> this is... This is what StarCraft 2 is all about. Is winning by killing your opponent's pylon. Oh, no way. <laughs> He's very upset about this all. This is, a, this is one of these situations where you look at it and you think to yourself, if I was my opponent right now, this would be my last game of the day, you know? Is it? Maybe even of the week. I, I don't think I'd be making the comeback anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoppa! Whoop! You're going in here. What's this? What? Hello? Who let you in? Usually ask who let the dogs out, but who let the freaking double... Wait, oh, he built a pylon in my... Oh, there's a prism. Okay, well, it took a little bit for me to get, but... You know, it's not about the speed at which you get it. It's about that you get it in general. Yeah, I definitely did get it. 
And he's fairly dead as well, I think. Zip. Poof. Is there anything here that can... Maybe just winning the game now. Probably should just stay downstairs. Well, did I kill everything? I think I have. Maybe I should just stay upstairs, actually. Oh, no, no, no. No! I should loot. Oh my god. <sighs> I can be a bit of an idiot at times. Should have never lost that, obviously. I thought my dude was gonna stay with me forever. Pam, pam, pam. We got our Stargate as well. I mean, this is this is legitimately not very good. Is there a pylon here or no? I don't think there is. Like, this game is fairly over. I think my opponent is aware of this. I think I'm aware of this. I think we're. Is there a pylon? Woo! Wait, what? It has a base. That changes things. That uh, legitimately changes things. Wait a second. Wait a second. So after I cancelled his his, his warp and he probably built a nexus there. Hmm. I didn't even see the Stargate, huh? That would have been a, a big thing to figure out that was going on. I'm just gonna mess Phoenixes right now. That's uh, what I'm gonna do here. Let me try that. Get a second Stargate as well. It's one of these things I really like in life. Oh, what is this? Chief, you sure you want to do this? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I was kind of happy you didn't manage to scout everything here. Okay, Twilight Council is fairly slow on that Twilight Council. Can we just walk across the map here and win the game? Is my is my question here. Is it doesn't that feel like a reasonable thing to do here? Just a little bit. Like I don't I don't know if it is. It just it feels like that should be That's a prism. That's a prism and a half. Okay, you're gone. He needs a recall right now. Oh maybe he doesn't have a recall available. Die! Nice. Oh, I already have one over here. I wanted to build a nexus here, obviously. Correct call, correct call, correct call, correct call. Yep. I do what I want. Na, 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 na. Oh. Ah, I think that's a dead void right now. I can micro this away as well, so my phoenixes won't die. It's often not good enough to just kill your opponent. You just do it without losses. Without incurring any losses. It's the most important thing in life, is to not lose anything. Winning isn't important if you also lose a lot. What's that? I'm just gonna lift everything now. Because I'm very strong. Whoosh. Oh, my arms actually hurt. It's because I lift so much. I was thinking of this the other day. It's one of the weird things of working out. If you work out a lot to become very strong, you're probably sore a lot as well. And thus, if you were ever to need your strength, you wouldn't be capable of using it because you're sore. Powerlifters, for example, would be completely useless in real life. Because if they're not sore somewhere, they're training that muscle probably. So powerlifters are, are useless. What you need is people that train in such a way that they're never sore and always ready to go. You know, they're lifting heavy boxes or something or... Whatever it is, is that people that are strong do. I wouldn't know. It's, I'm not it. <sighs> if you do it consistently, it's not an issue. <laughs> Sounds unlikely. I can't believe the IAM betting odds for the best player in the world is 5,001 to 1. I'm about to be rich. That's definitely what's going to happen. Tempest rush next game. If I see fit, I will rush a Tempest. Okay? But only if I see fit. I'm not going to get... Uh, peer pressured. Wait, this was a win, so we need to change the the overall thing. I'm not gonna get 
peer pressured into uh, into losing MMR here and losing a game. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Now, okay, I want to do a trick here, okay? I've learned this in math. <laughs> uh, five, one is my current score, but if you remove something, you need to remove it on both sides of the equation. So if I want this to go to zero, so I have a 100% win rate, I just do four, one. Poof. Just like that. 4-0. God. 100% win today on stream, guys. <clears throat> Do dark pigeons get peer pressured? Absolutely not. Captain, don't listen to them. They mean well, but we real fans here know what's all about. It's beyond. After Scarlet Lama, it's beyond who will be your man nemesis now. Concentrate on him. All right. I'll try my best. Losses are warm -ups. Honestly, it was a warm-up, and it also was with my off-race. Um, yeah. What is your MMR gain today? I don't know. Is it 4 1? No, it's 4 0. It says 4 0 down here. If it's 4 0, it's 4 0. <laughs> the first two games were with Terran, so they don't count. I removed them from the equation. We're 4 0 currently today. We're not going to lose a single game unless the good players start playing as well. I said, if I see it fit, I will play a Tempest Rush. But if I don't see fit, I'm not going to play a Tempest Rush. I'm not some type of monster. Kuguar. <clears throat> I think I see it fit. Okay. Now, a certain things still need to happen for me to successfully execute this maneuver. But these things, I trust in, okay? I trust in these things. So I'm going to open up with one Oracle into Fleet Beacon. One Tempest. There's a lot of dead space here that allows me to do certain things that otherwise I wouldn't be capable of doing. Like rushing out of Tempest. Okay, I can't believe I just muted myself. <clears throat> that was such a smooth move. I love having these new, uh, new cool things. I also have a new camera, which I haven't used yet. And there is a... A video we're planning on recording at Intel Extreme Masters Katowice, most likely. Um, it's gonna be. Uh, so I have a friend. We'll call him Zane because that's his name, um, and he is. He know he, he he's into tea, you know. But like the, he's like a tea nerd basically, you know. He knows like different types of teas and how to brew them properly and that type of crap. And I know there's a couple of StarCraft 2 players that like tea as well. So what I figured we do is we do like a, a tea tasting or a tea testing, you know, where uh, my friend Zane prepares a couple of teas and then the players get to rate them. I thought it would be fun to do it blindfolded and to also put some crap teas in because I believe, my personal belief is that the tea nerds are just pretending to like it. It's a, it's a flex, you know? It's like people that wear Calvin Klein clothes. It's like, we all know they're not actually better than a regular t-shirt for two euro 50, but because it has a brand on it, all of a sudden it's cool. You know, like the the, the superior tier. So we're gonna get some, we, we, he, he's, he's our tea nerd that we're gonna be bullying. And then I will be the tea, you know, the enlightened red pilled tea drinker. The one that drinks bag teas that are, you know, you buy 35 of those bags for like two, two euros in the supermarket. And he still, you know, he still think it's too expensive. That That's me. So it's a, a bit of a tea battle. And then we'll be inviting some, some high-level pro gamers as well onto the show. This is lame. Make it beer. Even no one likes beer. That is not true. I actually kind of like beer myself. I like, well, we like tea. It's not allowed. If you want to see beer comparisons, I'm sure there's loads of those. But this is a unique concept. Everyone likes beer. Yeah, it's actually true. The moment I said it that no one likes beer, I knew that was incorrect. I I think beer is a high tier high tier drink as well. I I'm sorry. I'm I'm not sure why I even said that. It, I know it makes no sense. It's ridiculous. He played Nexus first, by the way. His build is ridiculously good. Um, if you don't punish it, which I didn't do because I promised I was gonna freaking tempest rush. Now I obviously regret that. Um, but I do want out of my opponent here, though. 
didn't want him to actually get that info. That I had a Nexus. Because now he might know what I'm doing. You know what would be sick? If he opened Stargate as well. And then opened with an order call. If he did that, I think I might actually just leave. I'm already really far behind eco-wise. Because his Nexus was like probably two minutes faster than mine is. If I lose with this Tempest Rush, I'm going to be extremely upset at the guy that suggested it. Taking personal responsibility is for absolute losers. He has a freaking thing over here, huh? He's out. He's out. This is a full wall. He's locked in. I think we're fine. Let the record show that I was Tempest rushing before I knew that I had won the game. Okay? Now it looks like I'm about to bully him with Tempest. Because I'm winning already. But this is not what happened. I was planning on playing Tempest. And then what ended up happening is, is that he lost 12 workers or 13 workers to my Oracle. And now this game has ended in my favor. But this is, this is not how history is going to be written. Not with me as the villain. I was the good guy in this scenario, okay? He played he played Nexus first. This was supposed to be an exciting game, but now we've accidentally won. I am fairly sorry about this. Oh my god, Micro! Okay, that wasn't entirely brilliant, but still good enough. Mm, you're gonna die here, aren't you, bud? Zoop. <laughs> oh my god, they pack a punch. Zip. GG. Uh, the sight of the Tempest made him realize that the game was over. Well, we've achieved the Tempest Rush. I'm happy with that. We get... You will sponsor the Roybos tea for this experiment. Thank you, Jeff Browns, for the 200 czars. What are czars? Oh, the South African rand. How do I keep forgetting this? People keep sending me South African rand. And I keep forgetting what it is. I am very sorry for that. But thank you. Much appreciated, buddy. Very cool. <sighs> All right. 5-0 it is. I can't believe we haven't lost a game yet today. And we gained a rank. Can we just appreciate rank? Boom. Six points in the pocket. 5-0. You're bringing Disney fudge home? Don't pretend like this is for me. Okay. Disney... I'm sure I'll eat a little bit of it. And I'll enjoy it a little bit. I didn't wake up this morning thinking, I wish I had Disney Fudge. You, however, I know, were dreaming of Disney Fudge for the past five, five years of your life. But don't frame this as a, as a favor to me. This is a, this is a, a false frame. Lekker om te zien daar, Zuid-Afrikaners in chat. Very nice. He even paid in cash. Kicking his cables again. No, I didn't kick my cables. Wait, there's no bad noise, right? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. How do the ranks within a league work? Is higher or lower better? If you're rank 1 in the Premier League, is that better or worse than the rank 20? It is better. Because you're, the, the, you're number 1. You know, you'd rather be number 1 than number 2. Think of it like this. If you have 3 kids, which one do you like the most? The one you got first, number one. Simple as that. Uh, because is the first one there is often the case. Number one is always best. You come in first in a race. Uh, you arrive first as a baby. Stream lagged after I hit the table. I just YouTube. My internet connection is perfect. Wait, is the sound actually going in and out? That's not supposed to happen. Still lagging? Oh, then it must be... Mm, one of these cables. Did this fix it? Did, it, am, am, did I fix it? No lag or sound issues? Perfect stream. It isn't lagging. Okay, so I, they're pulling your leg. 
I don't have a lag to pull. I'm perfectly aware. Maybe it's my phone. No, it's not. If no one's having issues, you're... Okay, fake news like this, you know, this is this is one of the things that stresses me out. Is it, I'm not great with the, the, the technical side of streaming, you know? I can start OBS and I can click the go button, but the, that is as, as far as my as my expertise reaches. So if you guys start pulling my leg about sounds and lagging, it, it's not very fun, okay? I do not enjoy that. And I, I have a zero tolerance policy for that as well, may I, may I add. Zero. So it, you're going to be perma-banned at once, okay, if you pull my leg. And even if on your end something was wrong, if on my end nothing was wrong, then why would you say it was on my end without checking if it was your end first? That is messed up. Yeah, putting me in distress, no tolerance for that. I have no tolerance for that as well as I don't have tolerance uh, for people who let their dog poop and don't clean it up. When I was young, we had a little football field very close by my house. Uh, now uh, modernization has caught up with that and now there's a, a tram line, which I've also used extensively, but there's a story for another time. And at this football field, a lot of, it was a, you know, there was a goal post and everything is a little forest. People would walk their dogs and let their dogs poop. And I think back in the day, people weren't as keen on picking up their own dog poop. I don't think it was much in the culture yet. Um, it, it, it wasn't like the the, the social, societal standard yet. Nowadays, you know, if you have a dog and you, you walk it, you pick up the poop with one of these bags. Back then, it wasn't the case. At least I can't recall it being the case. So we called the city municipality... Um, <clears throat> Uh, to to have one of these uh, one of them signs made, you know, like this is not a place for dogs. It had like it had like a dog on it, and then a red cross through his face because he's not allowed there. And says no dogs allowed because you're not allowed to let your dog poop there. You know, is it, they actually put it down as well after we send a letter to the city municipality, local government at its best. Now that that that, that sign wasn't up for maybe three weeks, and a guy shows up. You know, we're playing, and we see his dog over there and he's walking it and the dog poops and, and he walks away so we as the bold seven year old kid with a football you know, he got there and like hey like this is, this is not okay and I, I specifically remember someone asking him if he was incapable of reading because there was obviously a sign there and then the guy said so what and he walked away and as the day I, I just remember being completely like confused but also kind of in awe it's like man this guy just defied the rules like, it was such an easy rule to follow as well. And there was, there was, he knew what he was doing, you know? It's like, no shame whatsoever. He just walked his dog, pooped in front of us, like, legit, like, five meters away from the sign, and then when confronted about it, said, so what? And I decided at that moment that if I grow up, I wanted to be just like that guy, where something can be so obviously wrong, but you're just not embarrassed for it, for, 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 for doing it, you know? It's just like, this guy had zero shame. I feel like people would feel so good about themselves if they could always get in that mindset of zero shame. Like, that must be amazing, going through life like that. You know, you're on the train, there's a pregnant lady who's obviously looking to get a seat, and you're just sitting there, everyone around you is 95 years old, so it's not reasonable to expect them to stand up. The lady asks, hey, is it possible for me to sit? And you could just respond with yes on the floor and you wouldn't feel upset about any of the, so the social repercussions from that like that everyone else in the train thinks you're a complete moron imagine living like li life like this it must be so relaxing there's never any pressure on you to perform because you don't care you're you're already the lowest and that's fine that's what i'm trying to achieve in life right now so if you see me on the train Ask me for a seat and see what happens. Little losers. Okay, here we go. I have three of these right now. Three oracles. That is a number. Okay, that's a number. Three. It's half of six. Six is a good number. We know that. It's perfect. Gonna go in, gonna go in. If there's a... He's in, he's, he's in trouble.
Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. One more. Come on, Kev. Let's go. Oh, I didn't uh, turn that off in time. Actually, it's my bad. Okay. So, fun fact, which isn't actually fun. It's like, ha, ha, ha. But it's more like, ooh, interesting. If you move through the middle properly, the towers don't see you. Which is what I just did. I moved through the middle properly. Towers are not seeing me. Now, for me, this is going to be ha, ha. For him, it's going to be crying. Okay, this is... This is crying. Absolute crying. Crying lightning. There goes that. Or how you like to... Oh, two of these. Zip. Ah, forced into more of these links as well. This has just been a great game overall for me, honestly. This has actually been a great game for me. I don't have a, a fourth gateway yet. That's a mistake. I thought I had already started that, but I hadn't. My bad, my bad, okay. Sue me. Um, also, I would like to suggest a change in which uh, oracles, or no, okay, listen to this. Creep should be always be visible. So rather than it being invisible, you know, because you need a detector in order to spot it, I want it to always be visible. I think this is one of those changes that could really revolutionize the matchup. Most matchups, actually. And when I say revolutionize, I mean give Zerk a 5% win rate. Which is exciting to me. How are they gonna, you know, get themselves out of that, Rukus? I don't know how they would. I'm sure Zerks would figure something out. I thought I already sent one over. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we see an army here, which is interesting. Armies are always interesting. Whoop. Ooh, Roach Hydra. Now we're talking, my friend. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Rochi Hydra, huh? <sighs> I remember when I built Roach Hydra back in the day. Okay. Wow. I'm just thinking to myself now, like what what is the what is the grand plan here for my opponent, you know? What what is the What's the deal here for him? Some of these guys. I like my position. I really do. Built one too many, uh, one too many, uh, yeah, of them uh, guys that morph into archons. What are they called? High Templars. Right, 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 right. Hey, you guys go into gas as well. So the problem with with this composition that my opponent is playing is not that it's bad. It has a very short time in which it is good. But starting here. You know, it's it's fairly competent at at at, 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 at staying alive. But it's a, it's a fine comp. The problem is the moment you get into into carrier territory, which is fairly fast as well. I have to add, um, it falls off a freaking cliff. Okay, that's the that's the that's the the harsh reality of things here. So we're just going to actually kind of kind of camp to that. But we're not camping. We're we're remaining semi-active on the map, okay? So, rather than completely becoming some so, so, some boring guy that sits at home and does nothing, you actually still want to be somewhat active on the map. You just don't want to be too active. You don't want to get in a position where your opponent can move across the map and kill you. That is very important. It's a concept. Oh, well. That also is a concept. I wonder if he has a fifth base. He needs at least 10 gases to go into late game here. He has Lurkers already. Jeep. Did I just lose an Oracle somewhere? I remember back in the day I had... F oh, five. No, four. Three. That's the number I was looking for. Always tricky. Let's take this out. 
He's on 10 gas already. He actually did a fine job, my opponent did. Is this the future of StarCraft 2? Probably want to keep one little Templar over here. Get a couple of these guys as well. And then once we get the, them air units out, I think life is going to be kind of okay for me. Oh, that's real nice. That was real nice, actually. Oh, I like the way that he... Where's my... My Templar weren't in this army yet. like the way my opponent is playing this. He started making some... Uh, some uh, rotation on. Some rotations, as the French would say. And with these rotations, our goal is to pull his army out of position. Keep him on five base forever. And from there on out, hopefully win the game. That's going to be... Oh my god, it's just literally... Yeah, I did. I did just do that. Nice. Nice! Very nice indeed. Um, plus two on the way. What? How did he get that? Surely that isn't fair. What? That was so unfair. I thought I was the one in charge. Whoa! wasn't great for me, was it? <sighs> it's honestly kind of outplaying me, not gonna lie. If this matchup was even remotely balanced, I don't think I'd still be in this game. I'd already have my point right now. Does he have a sixth? I mean, he doesn't have a fourth anymore. Seems difficult for me to expand. Also seems difficult for him to expand, though. It's not a, a one-person issue, that's for sure. Where's my uh, observers? thought I would have them already. Yep, you can go fight here. Definitely do want an oracle at some point in the near future. There we go. He has a lot of these dudes now. A lot of corruptors. I mean, that was good for me, surely. This base is gone. Probably also good for me. Nah, I don't think he can defend that. Seems very, uh, what you call it? Ambitious. Very, very ambitious. Does he have something burrowed here, or what is this? That seems to be the case. He's gonna probably try and unburrow it at some point, which is always a mistake. Oh, fly! Okay, this base is gonzo now. Egypt. Oh, I thought for sure there was gonna be a, one of these guys on the ground, you know? For sure, I thought there was gonna be one of these ground, these, these underground guys. Nice. Are we winning? I don't actually know. It's a lot of these dudes though, huh? Lots of cannons. So we're up a base, I think. Alright, well, we're not up a base necessarily right now, but... Are we really going to be playing a stupid macro game of 35 minutes? I'm not really feeling like... with this lurkers. 
This is just not good. I don't really struggle with lurkers, I think. Unless they try and kill me with them, and sometimes I die. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. All my friends are da -da -da. Whoa! Oh, nice one, Kevin. Nice one. Hey, that was great. Maybe you can do that trick once more, huh? And they came under. Wait. Oh, wait. He's up here. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's not it. He's gonna try and poke in right now. Um, probably won't take this base as well. What's that? Oh, he moved to the back! Of course he did, you massive prickers. God, I hate people like this. Well, it's, it's not like it's the end of the world, it's just... I wish it hadn't happened. What's that? What did I just lose? I don't know what I just lose, but I don't like it. That's a gone base now, isn't it, my friend? Who is this guy, though? What is this? Ryu. Why have I never heard of this fella? Nice one, Kevin. Nice one. Because he's playing a, a game of StarCraft 2 here that... I hadn't expected from a 5.6k player. I'm gonna be real with you all. May he rest in peace. No! That's so sad when that happens. I mean, I know I'm winning. It just, it's gonna take a while and I don't like that. Wait, am I winning? I mean, I'm definitely winning, right? Come on, die. I need to kill one of these. Ship, you die. I spy with my little eye. Too many workers, maybe, no? One, two, three, four. My man's been uh, pretty hard stuck on this amount of bases now for a while now. All right. Well, we're going to try and mine a little bit from here as well. Like it, the, the game feels uber over, right? It's, I don't know what we're doing here, but this feels like a little bit of uh, performance art. It's like we're going through the motions and we know how it's going to end. Hey, no one's interested in this, my friend. Trust me. There's not a single person in this chat right now that thinks that this is a fantastic game. What are, what are these guys doing? Okay, I'm just going to move this towards the top side and cut this off as well. Probably just send this over here. 
This doesn't make me happy, you know that? Do I want to get some Tempest, maybe? I think I do. Yeah, you're gonna build one of these. What is this? Is it like base 8 or something? Yeah, whatever. I don't really care either. Okay, you guys go over here. At least half of you. Well, a bit more than half, I guess. One of these. Pop, 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 pop. He's gonna probably try and take that base at some point, huh? Oh my god, you're so annoying. Leave me alone. Holy crap, dude. Oh. This is extremely, uh, what do you call it? Resident sleeper. Boring. That's what the kids would say. Okay. Well, he's defending this base and uh, doing... I don't even know what he's doing over here. He's, he, he's, he's, he, he's in cahoots. That's how he is. He's gonna die in cahoots as well if he isn't careful. He's in freaking uh, observers. Where are they? Where are them orbs at? Orbs at? Ooh. I drank a little bit too much. Ha, 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 ha. Da, 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 13? 55? <sighs> is this my life now? It is now or never. This guy is not gonna live forever. He is gonna die to mass tempest. That's his life. But am I a broken highway? I did it my way. Da -da 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 whoa, whoa. I sing the songs for the broken hearted. This guy. Oh my good lord. Who is that? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I only had three. He died, but not in vain. He died in the opposite of vain. He died with use. Oh, you're dead as well. Bang, bang. I, you know what I actually disliked about this? Is that if my Templar would have been in position, like they should have been, this would have been a terrible move. Like legitimately a terrible move. Not just bad, terrible. I'm telling you. Die. See, that would have happened. Isn't this hilarious? I thought I already rebuilt this somewhere. Oh, here. You die. You die. You die. You die. You die. Look at this. Chip. 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 I wonder what his bank is. If you think his bank is higher than 4k, type hello in the chat. If you think it's lower than 4k, type goodbye in the chat because he's about to leave this game then. That's one for two, my friend. It's one of those deals that sounds good in the shop, but not good if you're trading uh, two Vipers for one Tempest. Does he have this base or what? Like, you can't run away from uh, forever from your... From your, what do you call it? Your, your responsibilities in life, you know what I mean? Did I just lose my Oracle? Yeah, I definitely did. High tier, baby. High tier. It's my life. It is now or never. I'm owning this guy so ridiculously hard. Why won't he leave? This is getting frustrating. I want to play PVTs. 
It's my life. Na -na 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 -na. Like, dude, really? There's just no way that you can win. I played a masterpiece. I am too good because I'm not a mortal man. You could have abducted Tempest. You could have taken way more bases. But you're about to fall like a fool. Oh, he's, he's, he's had enough. This is the sign. <laughs> Look at this. He's going, he's going into 35 cannons right now. He's like, hmm. Let me see. I've been trading poorly this entire game. What happens if I attack into 35 cannons? Maybe the trades will become better. Now, this is, of course, false. The trades, oh my god. If anything, should become significantly worse. I'm going to poke one more down. Just... He does have way too many workers still. He's probably on like four workers at this moment. Like two and a half. But he's losing broodies at the at high pace. Which is exciting for me, huh? Maybe I can snipe all of his uh, anti-air. This is frustrating, fairly. Do I also not care? Yeah. This 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 enterprise that we just uh, that, that we just went on this this little this this fight, right? It it it's it, it was very good for me. It was efficient, fairly efficient. Yes, I lost mineral units, but he lost a lot of gas units, which I didn't. I hardly lost any gas units at all. And now we're going to take out one of his bases as well. Which is very exciting, of course. Oh, that was nice. The only thing I'm kind of losing track of right now is where in the world his uh, his oh his investors are. I kind of lost track of that. That's the only thing that I was losing track of. And he has no more vipers, which technically means this game is now officially over. I think. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Resources lost predictions in the chat is what I want. Resources loss predictions. The person who gets closest with the resource loss predictions, both the Zerg and the Protoss player, both the Zerg and the Protoss will get to hit the like button on this stream, okay? Don't hit it unless... No, actually, also hit it if you're not correct. But then you, you're an honorary liker. One million. I don't think you're going to get very far in life. 40k toss. 65,000 Zerg. 49k Protoss. Harsh them up by 12k. 50k, 150k, 200k. Look at this. 240, 64, 21, 60. I wasn't watching. You don't need to be watching to make a good guess, my friend. It's all... There's no intelligence here at play. It's all guesses. One million? What is that? At least 6,900k. 420, Zerg 69. Okay, tell me if you're correct. 41 to 32. A difference of uh, close to 10,000. Close to 10,000. I still had so much money in the bank. I could reproduce this army from scratch. Look at this. Almost to the point. Look at that. I legit had another army in the bank. That's how much better I played this game. <coughs> I outplayed him by an army. But holy crap, did I have to work hard for those nine points, my friends. And that brings the score to a magical... Six to zero. Six points for me, zero for my opponents. Oh. 
Weren't we going to check how much he had in his bank for a goodbye versus hello? I can't remember when that was. Otherwise, I would have done it. And then also, the, the goodbye versus hello, there was a trick, obviously, to get you to say goodbye and hello. <clears throat> Is this difficult to be... <laughs> Isn't that Imba? Well, I think I could have probably done it a bit faster, but I wanted to play it out somewhat properly. And I think I did it somewhat properly. I was a little bit slow with my Tempest, perhaps. The moment Broodlords come into play, together with Lurkers, it is mandatory to build Tempest. So the most important thing against Lurkers is that you don't let your bases get broken. <clears throat> you don't want Templar uh, and Cannons to be broke. So you need loads of those. Then you get Carriers. And then you should be good. Okay, we get four Jumi. Now, this is a good player. Okay, this is a good player. I'm telling you now, guys, this, this guy is good at the game. He knows how to play this. He's played this before in the past. Many times. Many, many times, even. He's the king of StarCraft 2. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I said I was going to stop if I get hungry, but I'm not supposed to get hungry yet. I literally ate like a half an hour before I started streaming. So this is odd behavior. Fairly odd behavior. I'm not happy with that, my friends. I'm not happy with that. No, I'm not happy with that at all. <clears throat> What's going on over here? Okay, we gotta play a couple more games, that's for sure. Did, did we? Yeah, we updated the, the win count, right? We did. I feel like we definitely have. Okay. Don't forget, my friends, if you're watching this stream right now, it's a, a good time to like. I know this is a fairly, fairly simple action for you guys, but it uh, means the world to me. Yes, it... Uh, not only gives feedback to the creator, but it also helps boost its ranking in the algorithm. I'm not sure if this is true, but this is what other people say, so I just repeat it. Ooh, look at that. Double gate. Whoa, 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 What are we doing here, buddy? You sure you're, you're up to the task of fighting my one gate with your two gate? I don't think he is. I don't think he is at all. I don't think you're ready for me. Ready to die, perhaps. Ship, start a zealot. Let me piss off. Is he gonna proxy something? Look at this. No, he's not gonna proxy something. Maybe he is? Where's the second pilot? We oh, built a second pilot on my natural. That that is a, a failure of understanding what you need to be doing in these situations here. This is this is a dreamlike scenario for the one gate player, okay? Aggression. Impossible. Le legitimately, not possible anymore. I can take a third pylon immediately. What is he gonna do now? Block? No way. If he blocks again with a cyber core, that would be hilarious. The bad. It would be a mistake. Something that people did in like the the dark ages. Oh no. This is this is uh, this is a misunderstanding here, my friends. A misunderstanding. See, this is a good pylon block. You know why? Because it achieves something. It shows me what units he has. That pylon block achieved nothing. I'm producing workers like... No! Should have cancelled it, you stupid... <sighs> there goes my bragging rights of being brilliant and smart. Oh my god, this was such a free win. This is a free win. If I cancel that pylon, I'm in such a good spot. Honest to god. I'm so far ahead at that point. It's almost impossible for me to... He finished it! The madman. That is not okay. All right. That is legitimately just not okay. What is this? This is also not okay. What? No. Leave. No. I'm an idiot. He's not supposed to kill that. He made so many theoretical errors here, but I made even more execution errors. <laughs> oh my god, I have the brain, I have the IQ power of a legitimate cricket. Oh, I'm out. Cricket, which by the way, is one of the worst sports in the world. If you're into cricket, then I have a, a bridge or two to sell you of other games that are actually fun. Holy crap, cricket is bad. Spending. 
I've discussed this before at length, at nauseum. I've discussed this. And uh, Cricket looked at baseball and thought to themselves, how could we make this terribly boring game even more boring? And then they said to themselves, let's make it longer and worse. And the rules slightly more confusing. And then they arrived at Cricket. It makes no sense. The entire sport... I think that is... A, a, there has to be a front for something, you know? It's like... So, uh, there's this tournament called Home Story Cup. Um, in which... Uh, which is held in Krefeld. And for people who have never been to Krefeld... Krefeld is a place with about... 120,000 inhabitants. And... About 6,000 kebab shops. You ask 6,000, I say yes. 6,000 kebab shops. This is this is a legitimate number. The There's more kebab shops than there is doctors. There's more kebab shops than there is regular shops. It is insane. So my theory there is that majority of the kebab shops are a front for like some something else. You know, it's like some criminal activity. I think it's the same with the entire sport of cricket. There is no way that this many people actually enjoy watching cricket. These numbers get pushed up by some, I don't know who does it, the government maybe, or the mafia, the cricket mafia. And I just can't imagine that people would pay for a cricket ticket. That concept seems insane to me, to be quite honest. This one entirely brilliant out of me. But I think it was, as we call it, sufficient. Oh my god. I lost three oracles this game. And two of them due to pure idiocy. It's like watching a game of cricket over here. Watching a game of cricket, that's what it is. <clears throat> if any of you actually enjoy cricket, please tell me what's interesting about it. And uh, if you can actually convince me, then you might get the title of greatest salesman in the world. Rumor on the street is, is that that's how most great salesmen actually started. Donald Trump, the well known to be the greatest salesman to ever walk this earth. Um, actually started as a, a cricket salesman. So he would go door to door selling people the idea of cricket. This is true. This is a, an untold story often. Um, that's how he became the president as well. The Republican Party saw that he could sell cricket. He was like, man, this guy is brilliant. He could sell anything. And then they made him run. And look at that. A mere seven months later, he was president. Before that, he was a cricket salesman. Just cricket subscriptions, cricket magazines, anything cricket related. He was your guy. It's actually true. That was his main occupation before that. I just built four oracles. I just realized uh, I brought politics up on my own stream. That doesn't mean that I'm uh, excited to talk about politics now in the chat. Okay. Donald Trump was the first salesman that came to mind. If I knew any other salesman, he's not even a salesman, but I know he wrote The Art of the Deal, which is obviously a book about sales. So I figured, you know, we take him. If you bring up politics, that is still a permanent ban in my chat, which means forever, for the people who are not familiar with the word permanent. There's only one guy allowed to do politics, and that's me. Wait, where did he go? Oh, here. I thought he uh, accidentally escaped, but you can't escape the king. So he now has a inferior economy, worse upgrades, and he also just wasted uh, little resources he had into 3DTs, which hardly dealt any damage. What we're going to do right now is we're going to move across the map and not lose a single stalker. Ah, we might end up losing one. Okay, here's the goal. No stalkers lost. 
No! So far, none lost. I think I lost one. But it was off screen, so it doesn't count. He's gonna snipe my, uh, my observer. Almost didn't lose anything. Exciting. <sighs> cricket bats are probably the most interesting part about cricket. Those things are masterfully crafted. Okay. A cricket bat is also worse than a baseball bat. Let's just face the truth here, my friends. Seven oh. Seven oh indeed. A baseball bat is a proper weapon. Have you ever watched NCIS or Criminal Minds or CIS Miami, CSI New York, Hawaii Five O, uh, The Mentalist, Bones? Uh is there any other cop shows I'm missing? Castle. Have you ever watched this? And the murder got committed with a cricket bat. No, never. Always with a baseball bat. How many murders yearly with a cricket bat? Surely Wikipedia has an article on this. Cricket bat. <laughs> <laughs> cricket bat violence in Britain has dramatically increased okay look at this this is an article and a half cricket bat violence in britain has dramatically increased following a total confiscation of sharp objects but why attacks involving cricket bats have increased by a thousand seventeen percent in the last few months since the labor government implemented a total nationwide confiscation of sharp objects the frog have embarked on a deep dive to find out what is really causing the increase in this previously unheard of form of violence. Why on earth is cricket bat violence increasing? It makes no sense. Since Leo can say how have increased it. Cricket was the sport of the elite? Is this a is this a joke article, isn't it? Well, it's an interesting read at least. This was in 2019. I wonder how cricket bat violence is doing right now. Or maybe they have also outlawed cricket bats. I'll give you a good reason. Cricket is good. The commentators. Imagine how good you have to be to trick people into watching the most boring sport using only your voice. Does that make the sport good, though? It doesn't. Cricket has a thing called 2020. It's when you play 20 overs, right? Uh, is that what's called an over? It's like a, an over, I think, is six balls. For the people that do not know. Um, I think a regular game is like 60 overs or something. So it's like, a, what is it, like th th 360 balls. Would you rather have blink or charge IRL? Obviously. Ooh. I was going to say obviously blink. But now I like the thought of charge a lot. You'd be capable of running very fast. <laughs> 90 overs per day. No shot. Blink through walls. Easily. Okay, but charge. Okay. No, you guys aren't thinking straight. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it in chat. Blink or charge. Type blink or charge in chat. Okay, what would you prefer? Blink or charge? I, I want to see this. Blink, charge, blink. Again, okay, majority definitely blinking. I can feel it already. Yeah, yeah. Charge, charge, blink, easy. You need vision for blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink, charge. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Imagine this scenario, right? You're a 
Wait, did I already add the win? I can't remember. You guys tell me in chat while I'm t telling you why Blink is a bad plan. Blink, you disappear from a spot and appear in a different spot. Okay? Now, this has obvious dangers. Um, like, what if you blink somewhere and all of a sudden you know, something happens to that spot that you couldn't see from your previous location, you know? You blink on the, on the, on, on the train tracks and boom, train shows up. It's possible. Um, this is not the biggest issue that I have with Blink, though. The biggest issue I have with Blink is that you couldn't use it. And now I hear you guys say, what do you mean you couldn't use it? All you need is vision. So you could have, like, drones flying over and you could blink to that spot if it's within range. Yes. What's going to happen with a guy that has this ability? Okay? What's going to happen? Hmm? The CIA is what's going to happen to you. You're going to get captured by the CIA and you're going to be moved to some 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 some, some facility where anything is per permissible and they're going to start doing tests on you scientists you could say well you could just blink away from that true where are you going to blink outside of the room no you don't have vision there can't blink you can only once they figure out that you need vision of the spot they're going to lock you in a tiny room and all you can do is blink from one part to the other you're going to be locked in a room for the rest of your life with scientists doing experiments on you with charge however you could just say you have some supernatural genetics for running. They don't want a fast runner in the military, but they want the blink ability in the military. You're never going to be seen again. People that said blink in the chat, congratulations. You can never use it, idiots. Me, Charge, I'm faster than both. I'm winning medals left, right, and center. I'm breaking records. And whenever they do a doping test, I'm clean as well. It is insane. I'm the best football player. I'm the best runner in the world. You guys with your stupid blink stuck in a CIA hellhole morons god you guys never think about your answers you just you think what's good but you don't think of the consequences so all you're gonna do is just blink around in your own home because that's the only place that it's allowed where the cia will not be capable of doing anything <clears throat> is ridiculous people think you're a freak or a magician and then the cia catches you and it's over for you that's the only thing you could use that you could become a magician with this trick where you blink which would be sick. You appear in another location. Because people, they'll think that it's a trick, you know? Well, it's not really a trick. But then, because they think it's a trick, it's probably less impressive. They'll just be really confused. And other magicians will be confused. And they'll start trying to steal your trick. But there's no trick. You can just blink. That's the only purpose. Congratulations. I am bold. I'm, uh, I'm faster than bold. Like twice as fast as bold right now with my charge legs. I'm winning marathons as well, because zealots never get tired. I, I'm literally doing everything, like I'm the, the king of the world, while you with your blink, you have one good trick as a magician. Congratulations. So unless your, your goal in life is to become world's best magician, which is a fair thing, and you have a trick that no one else can copy, you should not pick blink, you should have picked charge. All of you were wrong. Okay, anyone in chat still believes that Blink is best? Give me a, a good argument. I'll tap down in about 25 seconds and I'll read some of the arguments. But I can't think of any reason why Blink in the real world <clears throat> would be better. If you get charged, you also get notes by CAA. Just accelerate the second escape velocity on the spot. What? Well, no, you, no, with charge, you won't get noticed by the CIA. They won't care. Wait, he's cheesing me. I'm dead. Why did I no scout against a guy that played pool first against me four times in a row? Oh my god, I'm an an actual idiot. That was good control by me though. I'm the king of control. Why did I leave him? I was like, ah, oh, I did something good here. Actually, these can go mine over here. I thought I was dead, but I dealt with this in a professional manner. Good job, Kevin. You're someone that will be remembered till the end of time. Kev, when you finish this game, I have a clip. Okay, wait. I'm not going to watch the clip, but I appreciate it. I can create a distraction in the back line at Disneyland, then blink to the front line. No, because you can't even blink that far. Blink doesn't have a massive range, does it? 
I guess it can blink past buildings, which is relatively large. Up cliffs. I'm, I'm just not... I don't know. I'm, I'm absolutely not convinced that skipping the line in Disneyland is as good as being world's fastest runner. In, like, multiple things as well. Like, in, 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 in marathons, but also in sprints. In just every, you're just the best. You're literally the best. You'd be super useful in a football team as well. In like, imagine in rugby too. That would be mad. Huh? Can you imagine that? In rugby? Yeah, I can imagine that. That'd be pretty crazy. Or American football, whatever you call it. Yeah, I... I, I I, I think people that picked Blink just weren't thinking straight, hadn't really thought of the consequences. Me, myself, I'm a man that thinks about everything. I'm a, I'm a deep thinker. They call me the Aristoteles of the, of the Netherlands. It's a fact. Oh! And I don't lose my oracles for free. Also a fact. I'm fairly good at this game. Does he not have a third page yet or what? Some slight oversaturation here as well, which I'm not hugely fond of. Is he gonna go Hydras again, you think? What's the chance? After last time's uh, debacle, we could definitely call it that, right? Debacle. Roaches! Roaches! Does he have already some roaches on my side of the map, or what's this Garbo? More roaches coming in. But then, doesn't he have an issue here? And how's he how's he gonna fight my air units? Am I am I missing something, or maybe there's a, a Nidus coming over in my main? It's the only thing that really makes any sense. He played two base roach. This is what I mentioned before as well, by the way. When I said, if you just get Twilight 4 gate, I think you hold everything fairly easily. Forge is obviously a mistake. Like, I don't quite understand how I'm gonna die here. Like, you can get a Forge, but not for upgrades. You get them for cannons. That's definitely the way. Oh, maybe he's going the underground roaches. How about that, huh? How about that? That would actually be kind of hype. Picture yourself on a boat. On oh, maybe he's playing. Wait, what? I lost an oracle for free again. This seems to be the the play of the century for me, huh? The play de century, the French would call it. I I think. I don't, I don't actually speak French. I was a little bit suspicious of people that do speak French, because they tend to be French. Which is not great. Yep. So the interesting thing is that I can just go into four gas as well, right? Or four gas? Did I say four gas? I meant eight gas. See, I can go eight gas while simultaneously pretty much killing him, I guess. Oh. I'm super supply block and have been for a little while already. That's actually kind of painful. Lost a couple of workers too many due to that. The enemy has discovered us. I'm 
What's our actual work account? I don't even know. He built two mutas. Are you joking? Did he legitimately just build two mutas? What are you guys stuck at? He has nothing. Oh, he's still dead. Oh, yeah, he's uber dead. I mean, I, I just can't lose this game. I could blink in right now and probably... If I, ooh, okay, maybe I can't. Okay, that was a little bit stupid. Oh, that was, that was actually a mistake. I regret doing that. Oh, I kind of do regret doing that. Oh, remember when I said I can just blink in and do that? I couldn't. Uh, okay, that was a little bit dumb. I'll admit to that. You know, but that's, the, that's the difference between me and the other creators, you know? It, I can... I can on, he has no... He has no money. Oh, this guy must be uber poor. No offense, of course. I'm gonna beat him. I'm pretty hard as well, I think. But he's just pure roach. This feels really good for me, no? Picture yourself on a plane on a river. Na -na 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 -na. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. See? Blink is useless. Mediocre ability. Charge is the future, my friends. I'm gonna have like legit 3500. Uh, what do you call it? 3500? Okay, I can't remember where I was going with this. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have like an infinite amount of money while he's poor. 3500 minerals a, a minute or so. That's what I was gonna say. Which is a very large income for the people that don't know. That's more than Bill Gates makes. And I'm doing that right here, right now. I think I can blink in again? I think at this point it literally doesn't matter anymore. Oh, he's going for it? Seems like a mistake, huh? Zip. Got the surrounding. Blue sea in the sky with diamonds. I, I literally don't need the micro, so I'm not really gonna do it. Uh. Well, GG. Felt a little bit scary because I forgot the scout and he played pool first. I completely forgot that he was a pool first player. So we got another eight points from this. We gain another rank and that brings the total up to eight zero, I guess. What do you think, Karsten? Would buffing Stalker damage by a little bit be a good balance change? Probably not. I think Stalkers would be too strong against Terran. So the problem with most gateway units is that they're weak against Zerg and very strong against Terran. So if you buff the Zealot, Terrans would die all the time. If you buff the Stalker, Terrans would die all the time. Um, I guess the Glaive Adept, in a way, is not really used in the Protoverse Terran matchup right now. So you could buff Glaive Adepts, maybe, make them stronger against Zerg. I'm not quite sure how he would do that, because the issue is the straight-up traits against roaches, I guess. That would be the main issue that they have. Or against queens. I wish that the queen was a little bit weaker against the against the, against the glaive adept, maybe. That's something that... I'm not quite sure how you'd achieve that. But that would be a, a good change, perhaps. Um... What would be your number one tip for a new player? I think my number one tip for a new player is difficult. Is to just enjoy the game. It depends a bit if you like. If your goal is to become the best player in the world, then some of that that fun needs to be funneled into trying to improve as well, right? You you wanna you wanna practice other things. No, like you wanna. You want to practice build orders. You look at build orders and stuff like that. But I think just having fun with StarCraft is very important. And you shouldn't forget that. Just do whatever you like. So so what I would suggest is is you could take like frameworks of build orders. So I'm, let, let, let me think. Let, let, let's think about like a, a one gate expand as a, as a standard. The one gate expand is a pretty golden standard in most matchups. Right? It's good. It's solid. It does the job well. If you can execute a one-gate expand properly, most of the time you're not going to be at a lower level anymore. 
But from there on out, you can do whatever you want. You can have like an optimized Tempest Rush or an optimized like Void Ray all in from two base with Glaze or something. I don't know. Or like a Blink Stalker. And just something that you like playing. If you like DT rushing, that's possible. There's builds for that as well. Or if you want to do challenges with yourself or you just build one unit, that's also possible. Um, but I would always do these challenges within the framework of early game optimization. So you have a little bit of improvement and a lot of fun. I think that's that's what's important as well. But it really depends what your goals are. Like, I think too often in StarCraft 2, when people play like three, four games a week, their focus is too much on trying to improve. And I think if you're playing that little, it's relatively unlikely that you're going to improve a lot. Like, you, you, you might be capable of getting somewhere to a certain degree, but <clears throat> the time that you're putting in is just so little. It's like if you were to play an instrument like 25 minutes a week, like you could probably learn the basic chords, but I think that is where your your story most likely is gonna end. No, like you, you you're not gonna be performing in with an orchestra. So that, and that's fine. Like, like if you, I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that that then perhaps like rather than like if you have 25 minutes a week to play piano, for example. I would not recommend practicing a piece that is extremely difficult that most likely you're never going to end up playing. I'd, I'd recommend learning five chords in in, in in different keys or something and then, you know, some, some, some random chord progression and then playing songs that you like with it, you know, is, you could probably do that. And it's the same with StarCraft 2. Like you can, you can learn the basics of like a build order. And, 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 and then go from there and do things you enjoy with it. Just keep that in mind. And otherwise, if you're really trying to improve a lot and you have a bit more time on your hands, I'd recommend uh, uh, practicing build orders, like benchmarking yourself against other, against other players that are way better than you. So professional players. Practicing against the AI a lot, just refining. It is, it is more boring, less fun, but can be very satisfying in its own, in its own way. Very uh, gratifying, I guess is the word I should use, not satisfying. I've done a poor job harassing my opponent. We're gonna play... <laughs> Maybe a, a two adept sentry sentry is one of my favorite build orders at the moment. Unless my opponent for Katowice is watching the stream, then I'm not a huge fan of it and I don't think I'm gonna end up playing it at all. It's one of these builds that's not great for tournament but perfect for ladder, you know? Definitely not what you should be preparing for. Adept, adept, sentry, sentry, because it makes people believe that you're playing Stargate openers. Oh. Ooh, that was good. That was nice. That was nice. That was very noisy even. I'm going to be stuck on the outside because of that as well. That is the opposite of noise for me, but very noise for him. Have a sip of my water then. Ah, uber thirsty for some reason. Oh, we let it finish. Hmm, interesting call. Very interesting. Now, the reason why this build is, <clears throat> I don't want to say popular, but not super uncommon, is because it, it provides a lot. It, it, it does a lot for you, I think. And there's some safety included. You have a lot of units. It's fine against Oracle. You have scouting with the Adept. You have follow-up scouts. You're basically set from start to finish, as long as that pylon that he just built doesn't actually construct. You can get relatively okay timing on the tech as well. I'm, I'm often fine with this build. Okay, he opened with uh, something special as well. Uh, yeah, this is fairly frustrating though for me, I think. Let's see if he's building an, uh, a battery. He's not building a battery, huh? I, I want to keep this alive real bad. Not having a battery. 
is what we call a bit of a sussy moment here for my opponent. Started it just now. Also a little bit sussy. Yeah, no, not having a battery seems crazy. That seems, it seems a little bit wild, no? Okay, so scouting now. We have two options. We can either save these for three force fields. Or we could use them for something else. More dark. We could have used them for uh, for stalker uh, hallucinations. That's what I was going for. Only way I'm losing is against uh, DTs right now. Uh, micro was too good for me. Yeah, only way I'm losing is DTs. And as he hasn't left yet... Decent chance that it is DTs, no? Gotta make sure there's nothing weird in my main base. So I have a lot of safety here, really. So battery on the high ground is gonna provide something here. Um, I just don't see how I can lose this game. It seems almost impossible for me. From where I'm sitting. Like he has no workers remaining. Yeah, unless it's DTs that, that deal a, an ungodly amount of damage. This, whoa, he had a third base behind this. This guy has balls of steel, huh? That's actually kind of cute. Or, well, no, actually, balls of steel aren't cute. That's, that's cool. Arr. Okay, so earlier, I, I, I never fi really finished my sentence, but I could, could have also done this rather than using force fields. I often think that force fields are a little bit better, though. Okay, that was fine, I guess. Still have this one at home. Still no issues. Bird base on the way. Ah, shouldn't have lost that. Don't think so, at least. Hey, this game's uber over. Game is uber over. Nothing that he can do about it. Hey, he's... Sometimes I wonder if people don't know that they're allowed to leave against me as well. Oh, someone's ringing my doorbell. Be right back. There we go. Sorry, doorbell. Go, go. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the doorbell, but I can hardly hear it. It's, it's not as loud as I would wish it was. I, I'm always afraid of accidentally pressing surrender when I have to unpause. It's one of these things. It's never happened to me, but it's always in the back of my mind. Like, oh, what if I hit the wrong button? It would be so embarrassing. I'd lose my points. That's really what we play for, of course, in StarCraft. Does he have a fourth? Don't seem to be good. Maybe he has it down there? Nah. And even if he does, what's the point, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing the danger for me right now. Gotta be real with you all. Does he have it? No, it doesn't have it.
I mean, we can just play it out professionally from here. There's no need for us to rush into something that we're not ready for. I don't think I can actually build an immortal anymore. Do you think he can pop out? He seems pretty locked in, doesn't he? Does seem pretty locked in. Zip. So, because we have vision here, we probably should have already moved into this location, get a battery in this. I mean, we should actually just not build a battery. Like, we're so far ahead. This is, I'm actually being a little bit ridiculous, I think. Oh, here he comes. I mean, this is so over. Holy crap. Oh, I like... It wasn't the cleanest thing I could have done. Like, it's literally this I also have, like, 50 supply. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that quite. No, I know. Zip. There we go. Do you have a pause break key on your keyboard? I used to have it, but not anymore. I was thinking of getting one, but uh, I don't know where I should uh, bind it to. I guess I could just change the page down or the page up or something. Yeah. Ten O incoming. Uh, watch some good players snipe me now. What gonna happen then? I mean, this guy's not bad, but we haven't played any high level performers yet today. We're just waiting for that to happen. But it hasn't happened yet. Sadness. Why are the opponents so bad? <laughs> It's never good enough. I spent my life improving my craft. For the past 13 years, I've been playing 8 hours of StarCraft a day. Weekdays, weekends, holidays. When I finally win some games, a guy in chat asked me, Why are your opponents so bad? <sighs> this is the life of honing, of honing your craft. Why don't you win against the better players? Why are the people you beat easily so bad? <sighs> Life isn't fair. Ah, for Jumi, we played him before. He's good. Is he wrong, though? <laughs> I mean, if, if he wants to, he can try playing against them. He can start his stream. You know, we can watch him go at it. You now you can ask the same thing. Why are, why are you so bad? <sighs> it's never good enough. Uh, form of jealousy as well, you know. So when you're not performing well enough, and your neighbor is performing slightly better, then you also need to do it. It's bad enough already without people pointing it out. It's always like if you're, if at first you're happy with your bike, and then someone points out that your neighbor has a slightly better bike, you know, that is lighter, uh, slightly prettier as well. And then you know they. You feel bad about your bike all of a sudden, despite you loving the bike before. Actually, I don't have that, because my bike is legitimately the best bike I've ever had in my entire life. I have a I bought a bike a while ago, so I've uh, relayed this story before on my stream. <clears throat> on Twitch, not here. I never share stories with the YouTube audience, but this is a... What is this? Holy crap, this is awful. Once again, we have a contestant for the worst sim city of 2023. And his name is For Jumi. Uh, it has to be an Oracle opener then, no? Anyway, so I was looking for a bike. My last bike, it was it maybe got stolen. I can't recall what happened with my bike. Um, probably stolen though. I think I had two bikes stolen of mine. So I want to get a new bike. And I was like, like a sophisticated bike owner that I am. I was in particular looking for uh, bikes that were secondhand bikes. You know, it's a... You know, I'm like, oh, it's cheaper, I thought. So I went to a bike shop, second-hand bike. This bike looked like it had been built in, in like before the Second World War still, okay? Like this, the technology on that bike, they had the technology for that in the year 1200 already. Okay, that's the only thing I'm going to be saying about that bike. It was, it was legitimately a garbage-level bike. And the guy asked 
350 euros. What is this? For the bike. 350 euros for the bike. That was the worst bike he had in the shop. Some local uh, bicycle salesman it was. Yeah, an actual story. This actually happened. And like most of my stories. Um, so I'm like, well, that's way too expensive. That's ridiculous. Don't you have any others? And he shows me a couple others. It's like bikes that have been like in the year 1970 would have been outdated already. Uh, same, same thing. Like it, just ridiculous, ridiculous prices. Like I, I, I really, I really mean that. Like it's just ridiculous prices. Like 450 euros for for a bike that uh, I would be afraid might fall apart the day after. You know, like this is the type of stuff I was dealing with. I wonder if I can get this. If I don't get this immortal, I would have been in major trouble. But I got it. Um. So then I went into a shop called the De the, the, the Decathlon, as we pronounce it in Dutch, or the Decathlon, maybe, in English. And there, it's just the most beautiful bike, the most beautiful bicycle you've seen in your in your entire life, probably. Like, I had never seen something like this. It's fire red, okay? Not, like, not unlike the, the Pokemon game. And it just, it did things to me, you know? I think I can surround this, no shot, right? I should have cancelled. I 100% should have cancelled. Hello, how about we use all of our resources here in order to fight? I should have cancelled my robotics facility. I immensely regret not cancelling that. Long distancing. We're long distancing here. This is actually the future. He's gonna mine with three. If I had cancelled this, I actually believe I would have won the game. This is worth. Oh my god. Ah, well deserved. I play like an idiot. I should have just sent my first Oracle across the map. Anyway, I bought this bike, 220 euros. Fast, beautiful, a proper race bike, completely new for almost half. Like, if I would have wanted to buy this bike secondhand, it would have cost me like five grand or something at this dude's shop. It was ridiculous. The entire concept made no sense whatsoever. Why do you even lose against bad people? It's because you sometimes make mistakes. And I don't think Forjumi is bad. And this build in particular is very good. Um, I should have not fought with the Immortal. It's always a mistake. Send your oracles across the map, Robo. Keep, keep, keep your warp gate units alive and you should be okay. But I didn't do that. And I, I paid the price, obviously. I paid the price. There's nothing else I can do about it. It's just, that's life. That's life. That's life. That's life. <sighs> Eight zero, do we do the trick again? This is mathematics, okay? I'm gonna. You, you guys want to see how math is done? Not many people know this, but I uh, studied to get a a, a, a a mathematical degree as well, so I know a lot about equations. Okay, so imagine your equation is nine is one. Now, what you can do here? Is you just in order for this to remain true you can do minus one on both ends and then eight is zero so that's what we're going to do again over here in the bottom right boom eight is zero we made it happen 
And that, my dear friends, <laughs> is, <laughs> is going to be it for me today. <laughs> All right. This was three hours, Chris. Stop, stop calling me two hours streamer. This was, this was, if you round it up, this was three hours. Two hours, 45 minutes. I said I was going to do six hours, and I cut it short by three hours and 15 minutes. That's completely fine. Uh, don't forget to watch yesterday's videos. A video, uh, if you haven't yet. It's a fantastic little video. It includes Rainer as well. So be sure to uh, to, to have a look at that. Yeah, I, I think it was good. I, I, I truly do believe that it was quite good. Wait, I'll... I'll link it to you guys as well in case you're lazy. Um, there you go. If you haven't watched it yet. Boom. Click that. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit like on this video as well if you enjoyed the stream. I appreciate all of you watching as always. I hope you had a, a fun time. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'm out, my friends. Adios. Oh, sorry. We, I always like to, uh, to rate people. So, but yeah, it's not actually possible on YouTube. That's life. Adios, my friends. Bye-bye.